I'm not perfect, my family will fall apart. Lies that the enemy planted long ago and I've allowed to take root. My faith and my happiness was based on my level of perfection and how well I could do. From the second my first daughter was born, from the second I saw her, I just had this crushing anxiety because I realized um, maybe for the first time in my life, parenting was something I could absolutely not do perfectly. For four years of motherhood for me were just this um, cycle and oppression of anxiety and depression and the darkness and isolation that came with that. I was basically crying out to God, God, why did you wreck my great life? <laughs> Why am I going through this? But looking back, I was also questioning his goodness. A turning point was the night last fall of the Chris Tomlin concert. I heard the words kind of for the first time. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. And I am loved by you. That's who I am. And I knew if I could believe in nothing else during this stage of life, if I could just cling to those, he is good and I am loved. That's his identity, that's my identity. And me being loved has nothing to do with me being perfect. I felt the beginning of a shift. I. I even had the picture or the vision, I guess, of chains breaking and I could sense it and I could feel it. I also just kind of saw myself as a player in generations of women who had been chained up, that these chains and shame and perfection and pressure had been passed down. and. On that night, I thought, not my daughters. This is not the legacy I'm passing down. Those two truths that he is good and I am loved were just a, a balm for my beaten up, anxious, sad soul.